The video you're about to watch is a preview from one of my fashion design courses available online at Fashion Premier Academy. Okay, next we're going to create a cowl neckline. But before we get started with that, let's review some grain lines. And you'll see why we need to review grain lines, okay? Here's our fabric. Here's our roll of fabric. We pull out the fabric. This is our selvage right here. This is the edge of the fabric, known as the selvage. And le the length grain, the length grain of the fabric is parallel to the selvage. That's the length grain. Cross grain goes this way. And 45 degree angle is bias. Bias is important for a cowl neckline because the bias grain line will go on center front. You see, almost always we take our length grain and we place the length grain on center front, right? Well, with cowl necklines, the bias is what goes on center front. So to create the cowl neckline, I'm going to combine pattern making and draping. I have folded my muslin at a 45 degree angle. This becomes my bias, right? I'm gonna use my one dart sloper to start. So I'm going to pivot this dart out of the front. If you don't know what I'm talking about or what I'm about to do, Go back to pattern making one. My pattern making one class will show you how to manipulate darts. Using the apex as the pivoting point, always the apex is the pivoting point. I'm going to start by tracing this portion of my waistline until I get to my first notch, first leg of the dart. Okay, using the apex as the pivoting point, I'm gonna close this dot by placing the second leg on top of the first leg, like that, and continue tracing the rest of the front pattern and shoulder. When you get here, just continue going to the fold because this will become my drape in a minute. When I remove my pattern, I should have something like that. Okay, I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to leave about an inch of extra fabric all the way around. So about an inch or so, go ahead and start cutting this out. So this is my bias. I'm going to crease my center front here so that when I open this up, I will have this crease, which will become my center front bias. Okay, now I'm ready to take my muslin to the form. There's my bias center front, and I'm going to pin it on my form. Most cowl necklines work better with, with a soft, drapey fabric and by folding it like this we'll start creating our neckline and now it's a matter of creating folds in the center front which will become our cow neckline and i can manipulate the neckline so i can make it come close to the neck or not or keep it more open like this, for example, and then we can always adjust the neckline and trim some of this fabric or fold it over, uh, or you can really get creative and have fun with it. We can always go back and release some of the tension by slashing into the waistline so it's nice and smooth. Once you know the basic idea of the cowl neckline, you can adjust and modify the rest of it, you can uh, scoop some of this. For example, if I don't want all this fabric here, I can always 
trim some of this off and make it more like that, for example, and then continue it onto the back. Then you can always go back to your original dotted paper pattern for, and, and work on half, uh, uh, half of the muslin, right? As we always do, we fold the center front in and then so that the left and the right side are the same. Thank you for watching this video. Check out all the courses available at Fashion Premier Academy by clicking the link below. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you will be notified when I post new videos, which is every week. I'll see you in class.